What is up guys, welcome back to the Cowboy Slot Channel, where I bring you experienced advice from years of working in the casinos, tips, reviews, and a whole lot more. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to stay notified for when I come out with future videos. Have you ever been in a casino and you've seen the employees do something and you're thinking to yourself, why did they do that? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Some of those weird quirks and weird things that you might see casino employees do and exactly why do they do it. So let's start out with a pretty obvious one. Anytime a casino employee touches money, chips, shakes your hand, or really just sometimes they'll even randomly do it throughout the day because it's such habit, you a lot of times will see them shake their hands. Or sometimes, especially at a table game, they might just hold their hands open for a quick second. That process is actually called clearing your hands. This is actually a universal practice that is practiced in almost every single gaming facility in the country as well as around the world. The clearing of the hands is really important and it's mostly important for surveillance. Surveillance wants to be able to see that the employees do not have any chips, money, anything like that at all in their hand. Casino employees actually do this process so frequently that it becomes a natural habit to just shake your hands or show your hands anytime you touch anything relating to money. If you're standing in line at a bank and the person in front of you is depositing cash and they go up and they set the cash on the counter and then all of a sudden they do something with their hands, they either hold their hands open or shake their hands or something like that, chances are they work for the casino. It's just natural and it's a habit that we pick up on and it just tends to stick with us. The clearing of the hands is something that is required and it's more so for surveillance and the casino rather than you, the player. At a table game, for example, the dealers are not trying to show you that, oh, there's no tricks up my sleeve. They're actually showing the cameras that they don't have any extra cards or chips or anything like that anywhere on their hand. So speaking of theft prevention, let's talk about uniforms. Now uniforms are something that vary drastically from casino to casino and it really is an individual casino's personal preference. There's no laws or regulations stipulating what a uniform should be, it's really just that casino's individual internal policies, but there are some things that are pretty universal. Employees that work in the cashier cage or in the vault typically are required to have short sleeve uniform shirts or a three quarter inch sleeve where the sleeve actually stops midway on the forearm. The reason again behind that is for theft protection. The casino and surveillance wants to make sure that if you're around all of that money that you don't have the ability to hide it somewhere. So a lot of times those shirts, they're actually a very thin material and they're either short sleeve or three quarter sleeve so that the cameras can always see your hands. That's a little bit about the shirts, but what about the pants? Well, the pants actually do have some security features built into them as well. So what's the deal with the pants? If you work in the cashier cage, the vault, or even if you're a baseline floor employee, well, they do not have pockets. That's right, those pockets are completely sealed shut or they do not exist at all. The casino is extremely picky on the type of pants that you wear. You have to only get the pants from that casino. So say for example, if you have a pair of black slacks that look identical but match it, it can actually be a terminable offense to wear pants that are not the casino issued pants. Just because those pants do have those no pockets guaranteed and there's nothing on those pants that you can hide money in. Have you ever been in a casino and you've seen a slot employee come up to a random machine or maybe a machine next to you and they put their card in the machine, they enter their pin and just walk away? So what exactly are they doing? Is it something to be skeptical of? Are they doing something to your machine? Let's answer it. The answer is actually extremely straightforward and basic. Casinos are very micromanaged. There's a lot of managers, there's a lot of people, a lot of steps in the ladder. And many casinos require that employees have zones or areas that they work in a casino. And those employees are required to walk and stay within that zone for X amount of time during their shift before they have to move to another zone or if they are staying in that zone for the entire day. So why would they come up and put a card in the machine and enter their pin number? Well, because all of those managers in that ladder and that chain of command, they want to know what you're doing. The casinos many times actually require that the employees log exactly what they're doing or they'll give employees a quota of things that they have to do. And many times employees will walk around, they'll put their card in the machine, put their pin number in just so it gets logged in the system so their supervisor can see, hey, I did something today. 
So bottom line, why would a casino employee walk up to a random machine, put their card in, enter their PIN number, and take the card and walk away? It's very simple. They just want to make it noted and let their supervisor know that, hey, I did something today. I was in this area. I did my walkthrough. That's the only reason. It has no effect on the game or the machine whatsoever. So while we're talking about casino employees walking up to random machines, why would a casino employee walk up to a random machine maybe near you while you're playing and open it to grab something out of it? What did they grab? This one's actually kind of funny and it gets a lot of people talking and this is where a lot of the rumors and myths come from and people start going crazy over it about why would this casino employee come over and open up my machine or open up a machine next to me? The reason being is because in a large bank of machines or in a casino environment, typically only a couple of machines have a back stock of extra paper inside of them. The insides of these slot machines have a lot of space and typically what ends up happening is out of a bank of like 20 machines, one machine is basically used as almost like a storage closet where there's extra paper and there's extra supplies in there. So if a machine all across the casino ran out of paper and they need some paper, chances are they're gonna get on the radio and be like, hey, what machine has all the paper in it? Oh, it's that double diamond machine over there. Okay, cool. Walk over, somebody's playing it. Hey, I need to get into this machine really quick. Open the door, grab the paper. Okay, thanks, bye. That's really the only reason, guys. Those machines are oftentimes used for storage of extra materials. Now, a lot of casinos out there, they really don't like this practice and they try to encourage employees not to do it. But a lot of times the supply rooms, especially at bigger casinos, are very, very far away. And so it's easier and quicker for employees to be able to access supplies and materials if they have it in areas on the floor. And a lot of times they use the machines for a storage closet. Does it affect the gameplay every time the door is opened? Absolutely not. The logic board is completely separate and there's a whole bunch of empty space inside of that machine that a lot of times casino employees will like to use for things like extra paper. So those are just some of the little quirks that you might see happen at your local casino. And again, these practices can vary drastically from casino to casino. These aren't laws or regulations, they are casino policies. So your casino might have different sets of policies for when it comes to things like uniforms, or maybe your casino does not allow their employees to store paper in random machines. But at most casinos, typically across the board, these are fairly universal. Thank you all so much again for tuning into the Cowboy Slot channel. As a reminder, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to stay notified for when I come out with future videos. As always, best of luck to you, stay safe, and I'll see you again next episode.